Welcome everyone to this month's Astro Coloscope. My name's Elizabeth Harper. My website is sealedwithlove.com. So as usual, I will pick three stones, three crystals from my crystal bag for each zodiac sign. I'll throw them into a circle of houses and then I'll interpret the crystals, the colors and the houses and anything else that wants to come up for your particular sign. I'll also take a bead from my bead bag for an extra influence of color, just to throw that in as an influence for your month ahead. Then we'll select a card from the Voyager deck. And these cards are collages of uh, different images. So what I'll ask you to do is to take a look at that card and see which image most attracts you and then ask you to intuit what that image means for you so it's something a little bit more personal so before we get started remember to subscribe to my love letter grab your free color kit at bit.ly forward slash color kit and you can find out your true colors and of course you can find lots of jewelry and crystals in my stores store.sealwithlove.com this necklace is one of them and this bracelet that's actually a mala necklace is in there too these are the third eyes for their chakra chakra pieces so let me just share with you a little about what's going on in the heavens this month just a little bit there's a lot happening and I've written a, an article on my blog so you can check that out at astro color March 2015 so that's bit.ly astro color March 2015 so we have the end of a cycle this month, which is Uranus, Pluto square, Uranus in Aries and Pluto in Capricorn. And it's been, it's been, a, it's been years that this cycle has been going on. They've been connecting together and they've connected seven times together. So this is seven times the finish of it. So Uranus and Pluto are the planets of transformation and awakening. So I look at these from the color perspective. So I think of Uranus as turquoise and Pluto as violet and it's a square aspect. And you know, squares are, they can be at loggerheads. So it's almost like it's trying to put you in a box, but you don't wanna be in a box, not in this particular aspect. And squares to me can often be a, a red energy. So we have, Turquoise red and violet. Violet is that transformation, it's change. It's also bruising as well. So it says that you've been through a lot of change, a lot of, uh, a lot of um, things have, have manifest in your life and not all of them good. That's the bruising energy. So with Uranus, with the turquoise, that's communication, it's creativity. It's a new energy that comes between the heart and the throat. The heart is green, the throat is blue. Those two colors together make turquoise. So then it's opening something new up in your heart. So that transformation in the Pluto and the opening something new up in the Uranus with square and red, it's like, it's been a difficult time. So, but the red energy is awakening. It's the root chakra. So now, because it's the last time these aspects are coming together so closely, now it's time to shoot off into the atmosphere, into your life. Something wonderful is gonna happen. And it's happening on the 16th of March. It's not gonna be the same for everybody, but there's a sense of open, a new door opening up and it's time to walk through that new door. And you can let go of those bruises from your past. You can wake up with that Uranus energy and you can move into something much more spiritual, much more connected with your, your soul purpose with that Pluto energy energy as well. There's so much happening in the heavens this month, so that's why I chose to write a blog about it. So remember to go to my blog, check out that article at bit.ly forward slash March 2015. Okay, so let's get started on your star sign with your crystals. 
Okay, so Aries, you have a shaman stone that went into your second house. That second house is about your self-worth and your possessions. The shaman stone is kind of interesting because, you know, because it's called a shaman, a shaman, shaman, it's about healing and about journeying and about connecting with your totems, your totem animals, etc. So because it's went into your second house, it's about your self-worth. So with self-worth, there's almost a link to a sense of people around you, animals around you, messages, symbols around you right now that are going to reflect your self-worth. So take a look at at the, the people in your life and what they are saying to you, how they are reacting to you, how they are in relationship with you. This stone seems to say that something is going to be healed around that, but I also feel that you're gonna see something in the people and the animals around you that reveal to you why you feel a certain way about yourself. They are reflecting something that is not working for you. There's a sense of something is not working for you and you have to change it within yourself in order for it to shift around you, but you will notice it where it's almost like somebody says something to you like you're not good enough and then somebody else will say you're not good enough and somebody else or even an animal will even infer that you're not good enough. You know, they don't come and sit with you or that kind of thing. So I feel as if you're going to see that this month, that symbolism is around you. And then you can heal it within yourself because when you start seeing these same messages around you, it's, it's within you that it has to shift. It's not about them, it's about you because you are creating that energy. When I see this stone, it almost makes me think of magnets. So there's a sense of a magnetizing energy with that as well. So you're bringing it to you. There's nothing wrong with you. It's just that you are creating this in your life in order for it to heal. Then you had rose quartz that went into your third house. And this, you know, your third house is about communication and neighbors. And again, there's that sort of sense of people around you. But the third house is, is also about patterns and about breaking negative patterns. You have this rose quartz point. So I feel again that something is pointing at you. This is a, a vibration of love. Pink is the energy of love. When you look at this stone, this is brown, isn't it? It's nurturing. So it connects to the earth. It's nurturing. It's, it's giving you love on some level that is very motherly. This is giving you love, which is right at the core of your being, right at the core of your heart. So all of this is in the vibration of love. So it's not trying to say something is really bad or, or wrong with you. It's trying to bring this to the surface, patterns to the surface, energy to the surface that isn't working for you and probably isn't working for your finances as well, especially with that second house, feels like a little lump in there. So something is shifting so that your life can get onto a better track. The fourth house had this heart in it. It's an amethyst heart. It's got a little band on it as well. So I feel almost as if you've got a bit of a boo-boo there in your heart. And again, it's in your home, it's in your environment. And this links to your parents as well, especially in the home. Links to your husband or wife or, or your boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever. It's like that deep relationship that's really gotten to the core of your being, the core of your heart. So the violet is about that change. So it feels as if you're going to recognize something that needs to shift you're going to recognize how to shift it and then the violet is about making that change and what you might find yourself doing is changing things in your home so you might start find yourself throwing stuff out you know springtime or or if you're in the southern hemisphere autumn time that it's time to start moving stuff out of your environment that no longer serve you that no longer reflect you and with that comes this violet energy, the amethyst. The amethyst can come up when you 
are starting to see something for the first time. So there's a whole big theme with this of seeing something that isn't working and healing it. The healing comes from with somebody that is in your environment. So it's relationship healing as well. And I do feel as if this pain has been there for a long time. And what's interesting, it's not going to be the same for everybody, but the number 14 comes to me. So it could be the 14th of the month, it could be age 14, it could be 14 years ago, or it's a pattern that's been going on for 14 years. So that kind of thing, there's, there's some kind of connection to 14. The bead that came up is a champagne bead. So I feel that you are gonna be cracking open a bottle of champagne. It's also kind of interesting with this because this is brown and then this is a lighter brown. So I do feel as if you're gonna get lighter over this month. And it could even be, you know, I'm looking at it from a, an emotional perspective, spiritual, mental, but it could also be physical as well, that you are lightening up physically which might be good for you, right? If that's what you want. But physical physical lightening up can also be about not carrying burdens. And even though that might be an immense, a, a mental and emotional energy, there there is a sense with this of your body actually feeling physically lighter. Even if you don't lose weight, it just feels physically lighter. Great. So let's see what card comes up for you. I'm feeling like I want to go in the middle. So you have passion, which is the Ten of Cups. So take a look at that. See which image you're most attracted to. Then ask yourself, what does that mean? What does that mean? So when I look at this image, I actually see this. I thought it was a daisy, but I see this flower in the top of that, of that cup. And I feel it's almost like... It feels like a, a firework that's just coming up and it's a very small firework when you see all this other stuff going on so I feel like you're gonna make a small step but it's gonna be enormous for you so it might seem just like something very small it's gonna be really big for the rest of your life so yeah it's fabulous it looks good to me at least Okay, that's it for this month's Astro Coloscope. Hope you've enjoyed it. Do please share it with your friends. Leave me a comment below if the messages resonated or if anything else came up for you. Remember to check my store for the goodies, store.sealwithlove.com. Also grab your free color kit at bit.ly forward slash color kit. And remember that I will be sharing more about the month's astrological influences on my website, on my blog, and that's at bit.ly forward slash March 2015. Lots of colorishest blessings. See you next month. Bye.